I want that phone. Buy it for me. Can't buy you everything, Becky. I don't have the money. I hate you. You're the worst brother ever. You know what? Fine. I'll get it myself. This one looks perfect. Hey, Becky, you can't just steal that. Well, I can do whatever I want. Hey, where do you think you're going with that? That's stealing. It's not my fault. My brother made me do it. Making your sister steal for you? You should be ashamed of yourself. Hand over the phone. You two need to leave right now before I call the police. Kids these days. Unbelievable. Oh, no, this can't be good. I am so disappointed in you. Dad, whatever. I can't believe you would do this, Becky. Stealing a phone? What were you thinking? I didn't steal it. Ben was supposed to buy it for me. No, that's not true. I told you I couldn't Becky, afford it. Becky, you know better than to steal. And Ben, you should know better than to lie. You both need to take responsibility for your actions. Ugh, go inside. I don't even want to look at you right now. He's always acting like he's better than me. It's so annoying. Come on, I just want you to do the right thing, Becky. What? Shut up! You owe me a phone! Oh, hey! Give that back! Uh, I can't believe this! You two need to grow up and learn to get along! <laughs> Becky, that's my phone! You can't just take it! I can do what I want, loser! Hey! Move out of the way! <laughs> Are you seriously laughing at me? I just got hit by a car. Why are you so cruel, Becky? Well, I hate that I always have to live in your shadow. You never care about me. What? It's not true. I always look out for you. Yeah, right. You're just mad because I'm cool and popular and get whatever I want. I hate that you're so spoiled. Oh, gosh. Oh, it hurts. I need help. Becky, please. <laughs> Stop being such a crybaby. <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, this phone sucks. You can have it back. Oh, uh, no, not my phone. Uh, uh. Oh, man, you kids are getting expensive. Do you have any idea how much money that hospital stay cost, Ben? Unbelievable. Dad, don't you see? You're spoiling Becky. She's becoming unbearable. I'm not spoiling her. You're overreacting. No, I'm not. If you really cared about her, you stop giving her everything she wants. You don't know what you're talking about, son. You literally know nothing. Beep, beep. Hey, Dad, you want to go for a ride? What the heck? Becky, how'd you get a Tesla? Dad bought it for me because you're being such a jerk. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Dad. Just get in the car, Ben. Yeah, get in the car, loser. No, there's no way I'm getting in that car. Oh, okay, fine. See you later. Dude, I can't find my lightsaber anywhere. I think my little brother hid it on me. Hey, what's going on? <sighs> oh, man, my sister's getting unbearable. Man, I can't imagine what it's like to have a sister like that. That's gonna suck. And a Tesla? I mean, come on. Yeah, I know, right? After I got hit by a car. She's so spoiled. I'm so sick of fighting with her. She's literally my older sister, and I always have to look out for her. Me and my brother have always been so close. I mean, we obviously fight, but nothing close to what you guys go through. I know, but don't worry. I won't have to deal with it much longer. Tomorrow, I'm going to apply for that scholarship and finally go off to college. Yeah, man. And I think you're going to get that scholarship. You've been working so hard for it. <sighs> Thanks, Paul. You know, you're the best. Yeah, I know. Now, come on, let's go get some food or something. I'm starving. Ben, I have to say, I'm really impressed with all the work you've done inside and outside of school. Oh, uh, thank you, Mr. Blake. I've been trying my best. Well, it shows. You're like the number one student in this school. There's just one last thing you need for your scholarship application, and that's an essay on what you would do with it. Oh, of course. Uh, I'll get right on that. Right. It's due in a few weeks. And don't procrastinate on it, okay? But don't worry, sir. I won't. Mr. Blake, you wanted to see me? Yes, Becky. You and I have to have a conversation. Well, my time is very limited, so can we make this quick? You're behind on a lot of your work, and if you don't get caught up, you might have to miss what? Prom. I can't miss prom. I literally have a date with Chad. That's not my problem, Becky. You better start doing better with your schoolwork or else. Ugh, you're the worst. Hey, uh, Becky, uh, I can help you with your work so you don't have to miss prom. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Never in a million years would I take any kind of help from you. Oh, come on, Becky. Don't be like that. Becky, I'm just trying to help. Okay, got to get this essay done. What would I want to do with my scholarship? I already know the answer to that. I want to pay my way through school, get the job I always wanted, get the heck out of here. 
Uh, Dad, someone's at the door. You know, you do have legs. You could answer it yourself. Oh, officer. Yeah, hi. I gotta talk to you, bozo. Your daughter was caught shoplifting at the mall. I mean, unbelievable. And she got caught. Pathetic. You need to keep a better eye on your daughter. Becky, is this true? Dad, you don't understand. And what were you doing at the mall? Why were you skipping school? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because Ben told me to go get him stuff. Oh, come on. That's not true, Becky. I was at the school the whole time working on my scholarship essay. Are you serious? You said you would help me out. You know what? You're such a liar. Oh, I meant it was schoolwork, not stealing from the mall. All right, you know what? I've had enough of this. Becky, you're grounded for going what? out. Are you serious? Are you serious? A cop just brought you home. Go to your room right now. You know what? Fine. You're going to regret this, Ben. This room is such a mess. Oh my gosh, he snores so loud. Oh, where is it? Aha, there it is. This one teach him a lesson. Ben might not have time to finish his essay, but I do. You know what? Let me help him. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin his life. I can't wait to hand this in for Ben. I'll show him that I'm such a good sister and I can change. <laughs> he won't know what's coming. Can you believe it, Paul? All my hard work is finally going to pay off. I'm getting out of this place and moving forward with my career. Yeah, man, you're basically like a full-fledged adult now. And you're going to get that scholarship for sure. I just hope my sister does okay. It's going to be her last year without me in the house. I mean, why do you even care, dude? Becky is literally so spoiled. And she hates you. Well, yeah, I know, but she's still my sister, Paul. She only hates me because I don't give in to her being spoiled. I know deep down she's smart and has a lot of potential. She could go really far in life. Well, maybe this will inspire her to change her mindset. I mean, she did get sent back a couple years. That's why you guys are in the same grade. Yeah, maybe. Hey, man, it's getting really late. And I gotta get going. And so do you. You have the biggest day of your life tomorrow, dude. Oh, man, I'm stoked. I hope I can sleep. I'm so excited. Dude, why do we even go here? This pizza's the worst. Yeah, some guy Eunice makes it. I don't know. Oh, this is it. Oh, man, I'm so nervous. Ben, thank you for coming in. I called you in here to talk about uh, your scholarship. Oh, man. Uh, did I get it, Mr. Blake? No, Ben. You didn't get it. Wait, what? Why not? Because I found out that you plagiarized your essay. I never expected you to do something like this. Huh? No, wait a minute. What are you talking about? I, I would never plagiarize anything. I wrote that essay myself. Your sister Becky handed hers in, and yours is the exact same. What? That's impossible. She couldn't have. Becky can barely write a shopping list. Well, I'm sorry, Ben, but cheating is unacceptable. You've been suspended from school. No, no, Mr. Blake, please. This is my future. I've worked so hard. You should have thought of that before you passed in your sister's paper. Now get out of my office. Man, I don't believe this. Wow, congratulations on your scholarship, Becky. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dad. I really earned it. I worked so hard. Oh, hi, Ben. Did you hear the news? I won the scholarship. Becky, how could you do this to me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You stole my work and won that scholarship with my essay. Dad, I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, what's going on here? Ben, you literally sound like a crazy person. I'm not crazy. Becky ruined my future, and you don't even seem to care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't ruin anything. It's not my fault he tried to steal my work. It was my work. You know what? I'm done with both of you. Well, there you are. Dude, I've been texting you all day. Did you get the scholarship or not? Ugh, no. Becky stole my paper, and she won the scholarship. I don't understand. You spent so much time on that. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't matter. She's getting a free ride, and I'm not. How could she do something like that to you? How? Because she hates me, that's how. She always wanted me to fail. All I try to do is help her, but she never seems to listen to me. And now she's taking my future away. This sucks. Yeah, it does. 
sorry. Well, whenever my brother and I are in a fight, we'd always get together and talk about it once we cooled off. Maybe that's what you guys just need to do. You know what? Uh, that sounds like a good idea. I think I should go and talk with Becky before things go too far and can't save our relationship. I think that's a good idea. Just go talk to her. <sighs> All right. Thanks for the advice, Paul. But first, let's talk about this app idea I have. Yeah, you mentioned something about it before. Oh, yes, Samantha, your hair looks great in a ponytail. Whatever. Uh, hey, Becky, do you have a moment? Ew, what are you doing here? Listen, listen, I, I think we should talk, Becky. Fine, what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about how you stole my paper and won that scholarship. It's not right, and I just want you to do the right thing and tell the truth. You know why I did it? It's because I hate you, Ben. It's all your fault that I got in trouble. <sighs> this again. Do you remember when we used to go to the lake house when we were little? Uh, yeah. I always tried to do what was best for you and protect you. Like when I stopped you from getting hurt on the rocks. Listen, I never try to get you in trouble then, but I just wanted to help you to do the right thing. Will you do the right thing now with the scholarship and just tell everybody that it was my essay? Well, maybe you're right. And I'll tell Mr. Blake that I was the one that stole the paper. Really? Uh, that's great. Wait, no, you're trying to get me in trouble again. I, I'm not falling for this. Becky, that's not what I'm trying to do. Get out of my room, you jerk. I can't believe I almost fell for that. What are you still doing here? Go. Well, I guess at least you tried. Yeah, I guess. But because Becky won't admit that she stole my paper, I really need this app to do well, or I might not be able to save up money for college. Dude, you know if this does well, you might not even need to go to college. What? What are you talking about? Well, what happened, dude? You already missed the application date, so you can't really apply for college for another year. This app is a really good opportunity for us. You should go all the way in on it, spend a full year, and see where it takes us. You know what? You're right. Let's do it. I will work around the clock with you to get this finished as soon as possible. Trust me. I'm here to help. Plus, it kind of doesn't really know what you're doing. I mean, come on, dude. Hey, I know what I'm doing. <sighs> Thanks, Paul. You're literally the best. You know that? Let's get to work. I hate this laptop. Well, hey, 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 what are you doing, I Becky? I hate you so, so much. Ugh. Why would you do that? Because this thing sucks, and I need a new one. Dad will obviously buy me a new one anyway. Uh, you can't keep acting like this, you know? Not everyone is going to continue to spoil you the way Dad does. Well, then they don't need to be in my life. I deserve anything I want. It's not how the real world works, Pecky. You have to stop acting like this. Wow, thanks for the lecture, little brother. I'll be sure to take notes next time. Uh, whatever. Dad, I need a new laptop! Ben, I can't believe it's only been a week since we launched the app, and it's already getting so much traction. I know, it's amazing, right? Our hard work is starting to pay off so quickly. Who knew people would love this idea? An app for trading comic books with other collectors. Dude, we can actually make money off of this. Yeah, I know, it's gonna help out a lot of people. Plus, it's fun. So, what are your plans now? I don't know, I still wanna go to college and pursue my career, but I just can't put my future on hold just because of missing the deadline. Dude, you're not putting it on hold. Listen, man, college will always be there. And like I said, you missed that one day. It's okay, this opportunity though, might not be here. We gotta take this now. You know what, I agree. This is probably the biggest thing to ever happen to us. <laughs> Thanks for supporting me, Paul. Let's work on this full time and make this work. I know we can do it. Oh, hey, Ben. Hey, Dad, uh, what's up? Listen, uh, I got some bad news. They cut my hours at work and things are gonna get pretty tough. What? Oh, no, uh, that's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that, Dad. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, actually, your sister needs an update for her Tesla and the newest Gucci purse that came out, or so she said. She gets so upset when she doesn't get what she wants. I just need you to make her happy, okay? Dad, are you serious? Becky can go get a job just like I had to do. You've been spoiling her ever since Mom left. It's not fair. She took it the hardest, Ben. You know that. I just feel bad for her. Yeah? Well, what about me? I've had to work hard for everything I have, and she hates me because I don't spoil her like you do. I'm not going to be a crutch for her anymore. You better watch your tone when you talk to me, young man. I'm still your father, and you have to support your family. I don't mind supporting my family, but I'm not going to enable Becky's 
entitled behavior. She stole my future once, and I'm not gonna let her do it again. I'm out of here. You're out of here? What do you even mean? I'm 18, Pops. I don't have to live here anymore. I'm moving out. Then come on. Please just come back. Let's talk about this. No, I'm done. Becky, this is the final straw. What did I even do? Caught you on camera stealing equipment from the computer lab. You think we're brand new? We have a security system in here. Wait, Becky, are you serious? I did nothing wrong. You need to tell Mr. Blake that I didn't steal that laptop. So that's where you got your new laptop, huh? No, dad bought it for me. Yeah. Becky, I can tell that you're lying. I have no choice but to kick you out of school for this. What? You heard me. Now go. I'm so disappointed with you. Oh my gosh, why won't you help me out for once in your life? I'm not gonna lie to cover for every time you need help. Sorry, Becky, you're on your own. This is all your fault. I hate my brother for getting me kicked out of school. We did it, Ben. The app's a total success. People love this. Yeah, I know. Look how many users we got. I can't believe we've already made a half a million dollars in only a few months. Wait, I heard you guys talking about money. Can I have some to buy some new clothes? I'm not giving you any of the money we earn. I don't owe you anything. What? This isn't fair. You have more than enough money. You could share some of it with your sister. Nope, not gonna happen. What? Are you kidding me? You're literally the worst brother in the world. I don't understand why you won't help me out. I just want to buy one or maybe two nice outfits. I can't believe that you wouldn't even do that for me. That's so oh, rude. All right, all right, enough, enough. Listen, I'm sorry, but I'm not giving in anymore. I hate you! Jeez, I know, right? Dude, we got diplomas. We got diplomas. Woo! This is awesome! <laughs> I know, right? We actually graduated. Congratulations, both of you boys. You did well. Dude, this is sick. And our business is making a ton of money. And we just graduated high school. I mean, come on. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very proud of both of you. Well, dude, I gotta go find my mom and dad. They're taking me out for ramen. I'll catch you later. All right, see you around, Paul. You know, Ben, I can't say this enough. I really am proud of you, son. You're doing a good job. Thanks, Dad. I worked really hard to get here. Ugh, this is taking so long. This is just like you. You want to rub it in my face that you're better than me. It's, it's so offensive. Listen, it isn't my fault you got kicked out of school. Yes, it is. You could have helped me, but you didn't. You didn't help me by ruining my chances of going to college. You are so... Selfish. All right, stop fighting the both of you. Everyone's parents are starting to look it's at me now. It's not my fault. She just has to ruin everything. Whatever. I have to go work on my business anyway. Go work on your stupid loser project. Hey, Paul, you said you had some good news for me? Dude, listen to this. We just hit the $10 million mark. Our company earned $10 million. Are you kidding? That's incredible. Yes, man. This hard work is actually really paying off. I know. It only took us three years, too. Man, I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah, things have seriously changed since high school. Speaking of... How's your sister doing these days? Uh, honestly, I don't know. She hasn't done anything noteworthy, yet somehow she's driving a nicer car than me. Classic Becky. Man, that's too bad. Oh, is that your phone or mine? Oh, no, uh, that's mine. Um, one sec. Hello? Oh, yeah, I'll be right there. Okay, what's going on? Oh, um, I, I completely forgot. It's my dad's birthday dinner tonight. I have to go. Dude, seriously, you forgot your dad's birthday again? Put it in your calendar. Hey, I've been busy. Well, go have fun and say hi to your dad. We'll catch up later. Oh, sounds good. See you later, Paul. Hey, Dad, happy birthday. Oh, Ben, you made it. Thank you so much. You're starting to think you weren't coming. Yeah, I'm real sorry. Uh, I got caught up with work. Yeah, typical Ben, always putting work before family. What about me? Didn't you get me a gift? No, I didn't. I didn't know it was your birthday, too. Wait a second, Becky. I thought your birthday was in February. Yeah, it is. Whatever. See? You're always forgetting about me. Gosh, you're such a terrible brother. You think you're always better than me, huh? Uh, no, I don't. But maybe you should think about getting a job. That can't support you forever. All right, guys, we've had this conversation before. It's my birthday. I don't want you two to be fighting. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. Look, Ben, I really appreciate the gift and, and seeing you, but maybe you should leave since your sister's getting upset. <laughs> Seriously? I have to leave? Unbelievable. She gets her own way as always. Stop being such a baby. 
<laughs> sure, I'm the baby. I don't have time for this. Happy birthday, Dad. Wait, is that Dad? Hey, Dad, uh, what's going on? Oh, Ben, uh, I just lost my job. Huh? What? Oh, no, Dad, what happened? Well, they said they had to downsize, and I was one of the ones they let go. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'm sorry, I don't wanna cry. Protector, don't cry. Don't worry about it. I can help you no, out. No, no, no. I don't wanna just take your money, Ben. You've worked so hard for it. Well, you worked really hard to provide me when I was a little kid. Let me help you now, Dad. Well, thank you, son. This is gonna make things easier for Becky, too. What? Becky? Please, can you just talk to her? She just needs a chance. <sighs> Fine, I'll talk to her. Just for you. Thank you, Ben. I, I appreciate it. Though making money, I don't want to see what will happen to Becky. But I know you can help her. Yeah, well, I'll try. I gotta go. I'll send some money to your account this afternoon. Thank you, son. You're a real lifesaver. Becky? What are you doing here? Dad's running out of money, and we need your help. Oh, well, I already talked to him about it. I'm gonna give him some money this afternoon. What about me? It's not fair for you to help him and not me. Well, Becky, you need to learn to support yourself. You're a grown woman now. Can't rely on dad or me forever. That's not fair. You never do anything for me. This is my time of need. Becky, I've always been trying to do stuff for you. You're being selfish and spoiled. If you want help, I can offer you a job at my company. I'll pay you for work. How's that sound? <sighs> Fine. If that's all I'm getting, I'll work at your stupid little company. Great. I'll see you there Monday morning. Uh, I can't believe this. Ugh. You still work here? Yeah. Hi, Becky. Look, I'll show you to your desk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't I have an office? I should have one. Well, you won't get an office until you get promoted to management. You have to work here with everybody else. I'm literally the owner's sister. This is ridiculous. I can't work like this. I'm sorry, Becky. This is where you're going to work. Are you an idiot? I said I can't work out oh, here. No, what's going on here? This idiot won't give me an office. You don't get an office, Becky. You know what? Fine. Then I want money right now. Oh, see, I knew this would happen. Becky, this isn't how it works. You have to work to get a promotion. And once you get a promotion, you get a raise. And then maybe you can get an office. Wow. I can't believe I have to listen to you. <sighs> You need to understand that you can't just demand things without putting in the work. It's not fair to the rest of the employees who have to work hard to earn their positions. Wow, whatever. This is ridiculous. Hey, honey, how was your first day at work? It was Terrible! Ben was so rude to me. He was what? What happened? So get this. Paul showed me to my desk, and then I asked calmly, why didn't I have an office? And he said, you don't get one until a promotion. How ridiculous is uh, that? Uh, honey, that's the same everywhere else you go. You're new. You can't expect to have an office right away. But that's not fair. I was trying to work really hard. Becky, Ben is really trying to help us out. You need to be more appreciative of what he's doing. He literally offered you a job. Well, I'll be more appreciative when I get a raise and maybe a nice office. I deserve more recognition for the work that I am doing. Honey, it was your first I day. I don't care, Dad. Ugh. If you feel that way, why don't you just talk to Ben about it, okay? <sighs> Fine, I will. Ben? Ben? Ben, are you here? Hello? Ugh, of course he's not here. Such a loser. Which office is his? This one looks empty. I can't believe he didn't give me an office. I deserve one more than he does. Let's see what I can find here. I bet you I can find something that can prove that I deserve an office. Ooh, money? I'm taking that. This is perfect. This is what I deserve for all of my hard work. All right, this place sucks. I'm out of here. Wait, what's that? I forget which key it is. Oh no, that's Ben. I need to get out of here before he notices. Perfect, I think I got away with it. Ugh, Ben, great. Hey, Ben, what do you want? Can you come over to my house? I need to talk to you. Ugh, fine, whatever. 
So what'd you want to talk about, loser? Look, Becky, I know you went to the office last night and you stole money from my desk. I didn't steal anything. This is just another one of your lies. The security guard saw you on the cameras. And when I got to the office today, the money was gone. Fine, I took the money, but I deserve it. You have everything and I have Nothing. The reason I have everything is because I worked hard for everything. Don't you understand? You can't just take things that don't belong to you. Well, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve any of it. It should be mine. You know what? You need to stop living in this delusional world. You can't just take things that don't belong to you. And you definitely can't blame me for everything that goes wrong in your life. This has gone on for too long. I'm sorry, Becky. I can't have you working for me anymore. You're fired. What? You, you can't do this to me. I need this job. Sorry. You you made your bed, now you have to sleep in it. Please leave my house. You know what? Fine, I will. Dad, you need to talk to Ben. He just fired me from my job. What? Why did he fire you? You know what? He's just being unfair. He didn't give me an office or a raise when I clearly deserved it. So I took some money from his desk. No big deal. You can't just take things that don't belong to you. I've told you that ever since you were a little girl. Yeah, but I deserved it. He owes me that. No, Becky. Ben doesn't owe you anything. You have to work for what you want, just like everyone else. Just like me and just like your brother. But what if I don't want to work? I just want things, I don't know, handed to me. Yeah, that would be nice if it worked that way, but it doesn't. I know it's tough, but you have to try, Becky. I'm looking for a new job, too. You need to look for one as well. You know what? I'm not looking for another job. You and Ben just need to just, I don't know, give me everything that I want. <laughs> it's not that hard. Keith, that's not how life works. If you're not willing to work for what you want, then I have no choice to ask you to leave the house. Oh my gosh, fine. I don't need either one of you. Becky, I'm sorry. Can't believe this. <sighs> Can't believe I'm homeless. Why did I let it get to this point? Why didn't I help our family when I had the chance? Becky, what are you doing here? Ben, what are you doing here? I was just passing by, but why are you here on the streets? Um, uh, I have nowhere else to go because dad kicked me out of the house. Really? Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Why did he kick you out? <sighs> because I was really selfish and spoiled. Well, now I regret it. Ben, I'm sorry for the way that I treated you. I was so mean and you tried everything and you were being a great little brother. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. It's okay, Becky. I, I forgive you. You're still my sister and I love you a lot. You come stay at my place. Figure things out together.